Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the next Marvel Legends X-Men animated series styling VHS box card, whatever you want to call these. They're not cards, they're boxes that hide the crappy figures that are inside. Series of figures. This is Storm. The worst... The worst one of the bunch so far in so many ways. Jubilee was a total dog turd, if I'm being frank. This one's, this one's a contender. Wolverine had his problems, but at least they gave us a new head sculpt that looked really nice-ish. This one is just un inexcusably bad in so many ways. Now, that's not to say there isn't something about it that's better than the others. And there is. I'm not being sarcastic. There is something about this that's much better than the others, so stick around. Don't just sign out yet. But the rest of it's really, really bad. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. This figure stands to the top of the hair, six and, I don't know, five eighths, to the top of the head closer to six inches. So scaling's okay. We're at about 15 centimeters-ish to the top of the head and closer to 16 and a half to the top of the hair. And, uh, all right, let's just do a quick question of the day. Are you guys sick of this yet? Not me reviewing these things, but them releasing terrible, terrible releases for no real reason. I'm sick of it. I have to review them because it's my job. People always ask me, why do you keep reviewing Marvel Legends? They're all bad. Well, they're not all bad, but also, if I only reviewed things that were good, it would kind of defeat the purpose. I have to tell people what's good or bad based on what they might want to buy. And I want these to be good. I love X-Men. X-Men cartoon is what I grew up on. X-Men's my favorite part of the Marvel Universe. So this is what I want. They're just not doing a good job. So let's go ahead and dive into it. But before we get into the rest of the video, we have to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Into the AM. They are the elevated clothing company. They have all of these cool designs in the t-shirts. They have other things too, but I really focus on the graphic tees because I love them. And I think you guys will too. Most of you have bought them. Not most of you. I don't know. A lot of you have bought them and told me you'd love them. Some of you were telling me you're buying like 10 or 12 at a time. That's awesome. I have that many. I wear them every day. They don't fade. They don't wear out. They look amazing. They have a ton of new designs. This is one of them. This is one of them. I actually wanted to wear this one, but it's just a little bit less colorful, so I figured I would just show it to you, wear the colorful one, and then show you another colorful one too. These are some of their new ones. You guys have already seen all the ones I've been wearing. They have tons. They have tons of new ones, tons of old ones. They do sell out fast, but they do restock, so don't worry too much, but you do want to get in there. Uh, but yeah, you can get all kinds of different things on their site, and if you want to save some money, you can use the link in the description below. That'll save you some money. You can also bundle the graphic tees or the regular tees, or you can do the subscription service where you save even more money, but you don't get to pick the shirt. Totally up to you, but I definitely recommend you check them out. They're super comfortable. They look great. They fit great. Can't beat them. Love these shirts. They are the best graphic tees I have ever worn, so check them out. Link in the description below. That's what she's supposed to look like. This isn't that. It's not even close. The Toy Biz version of this figure blows this one away, despite its flaws. It's not even remotely close. Trash. Look at that face. That's fairly accurate to the cartoon. Like, I know it's not exactly from the cartoon, but this looks like Jubilee's head. That couldn't look less like her. Also, is she falling asleep? She looks bored to be here. It, it doesn't look anything like her. Also, notice the coloring. She wasn't wearing plain white. Let me zoom back out. She wasn't wearing plain white. See the difference between the hair and the body and the suit? It was like a silvery blue. Silver at best. Everybody always argues about the shading and things for things like this on comics, but you can see the difference between the hair and the body. There's a difference. Not on the figure, though. It's all just solid white. The face is ridiculous. The hair. Look at her hair. So, like, yeah, tons of hair. But it looks like lots of hair. This looks like she's wearing one of those things they were selling in infomercials like 15 years ago for girls to make their hair look poofy. No one's hair looks like that. That looks ridiculous. It looks like a... I don't know, like a pom-pom? A poodle? There's something... That hair looks terrible. It's just a giant mass, and it starts immediately at the front of the head. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look like the character. The face doesn't make any sense. It doesn't look like the character. It's terrible. Now let's talk about the, the comic or cartoon styling paint job. Her, this is the thing that's the best for her. She has the most of it. 
and because it's white with black lines, it looks the best. They actually did a little bit of like proper painting where it, it's actually lined up with a few of the wrinkles in the sleeves. Same thing on this side. It does go around the breasticles up here, around here. It doesn't really make sense that it's only on part of the legs and like not on the feet, not on the lower arms, that kind of stuff, but it, it, up here it looks good too. So that part is the best thing so far. I'll note, they put a little bit of effort in and did a little bit of an orange spot where the black would have crossed over the belt, but they didn't do it over here. They didn't do it on the boob. They didn't do it up on the shoulder pads. They didn't put it anywhere else. So it's like they're not even trying. Also, I'll point out, there's shading on the hair. There's a little bit of blue shading on the hair underneath it. What is happening? What is that? That's not, that's not a thing. Why is there blue shading on the inside of her hair, but not on her suit where it's supposed to be? It's not anywhere else. It's just under there. These are ridiculously bad, like laughably, insultingly bad. These Wolver Wolverine figures, these X-Men figures. I don't understand how they can be as bad as they are. As far as the cape goes, we got some lines that I don't think we had before, but maybe we did, I don't remember. What a bunch of trash. And it's not the right build either. She's skinny. She doesn't have any shape to her. Look at this. Look at her chesticles and look at her hips and look at her waist. It's almost like it's a bigger measurement. S smaller measurement, bigger measurement. Not on this. This is ridiculous. This is horrible. The aesthetic doesn't match any of the source material at all. Also, they put the black lines like just to look at her boobs a little bit more. <laughs> no, to look at the paintwork, you would have the black line like on the bottom part of the curve, not up on the top of the boobs. They put their black shading right across the center of the boob, more or less. It just doesn't make any sense. It's like nothing they do makes any sense and they don't care. The earrings are painted terribly, by the way. They are painted, but it looks like it's made out of crayons. So aesthetically speaking, as bad as this is, I'm giving it a zero out of 10 for the aesthetic. The only way it would be worse is if they actually tried to make it bad or gave us the wrong character. Now, let's talk about the accessories because we have those in abundance. The accessories we get for this figure are the lightning bolt hands, which look like her fingers are melting. They look like they're made out of chocolate and they're melting. It would be a cool accessory if they weren't executed terribly. They're shiny because they're painted, so they look terrible and they're melting. So as far as accessories go, zero out of 10. Terrible. Now, let's talk about the articulation. Because of this hair, she can't look up at all. She can look down, but it looks ridiculous. But we can, we can do that. And then it's a big old ball peg so it can wiggle around. It's very loose, like very loose. Okay, shoulder pads are flexible and they move, so the shoulder should work. Yeah, you can raise the arm up, no problem. Rotation, it's not great because they're connected on the front rather than in the back. So when you raise the arm up, it pops the shoulder pad off, which by the way, will disconnect the cape, which means if you try to do that, you are gonna have a pain in the ass to deal with rather than not having a pain in the ass to deal with for a plastic action figure. They should peg in in the back, not the front. All right, no bicep swivel, by the way. You get that down here in your single jointed elbow which gets just better than 90 degrees, and then you get your bicep swivel there. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge. And then of course these are connected with little bits of rope, which look really not good, but that's the way it is. For the torso, she leans back all the way. That's good, I like that. I don't like that there's such a big gap, but there's not much you can do about that on a single peg. Doesn't lean forward at all. So honestly, they might as well have not left that gap. Just don't count the forward range, because it's so little anyway. Just make it so that when she leans back, there's no gap. And then you can put her in a better flight pose. Side to side is pretty good, surprisingly good. Rotation is nice, that's fine. Hips, going out to the side, not quite 45. I'll give her 45, you might be able to get 45 out of that, so that's okay. Bringing the legs forward, not bad, I'll take it. Going back, no range at all. Thigh swivel is fine. Double jointed knee is okay. Ankles go all the way back. She's very gummy, by the way. Not all that far forward, and you get your ankle rocker. I want to point out also on this one, in order to line the, the paintwork up on this leg, 
Her leg has to be pointed like inward rather than straight forward. So anyway, articulation on this figure is acceptable. It's not good. It's not terrible. I'll give it, um, I'll give it a six. Nothing is good about it other than the leaning side to side. And it leans back a little bit farther than normal. That's about it. So what a, what a piece of crap, huh? 30 bucks. I think it was 30 bucks. I'll fix the price, whatever. It's like close to that. Plus, if you count shipping because you have to buy these at Hasbro Pulse and you have to pay shipping unless you're a premium member or something like that, I think, uh, these figures are astronomically priced and they're worse than average Marvel Legends. These are terrible. I cannot tell anyone to buy these. I do not suggest you buy these. If nothing else for principle that they're making crap and selling it at a ridiculous price. But they're actually just not good. So unless you have some kind of weird thing for weird paint jobs and highly inaccurate figures, there's nothing redeemable about these. Whatever the Toy Biz one costs, go buy that one. Go buy the previous release of Storm and add your own paintwork if you want to or just leave it because they did a bad job anyway. There's nothing about this figure that makes it worth buying. I'm gonna give it a final verdict of one out of 10. One out of 10. It's terrible, don't buy it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you might want to. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.